Okay, so one of the parts of this giant makeover of our store is the exterior of the building, of which I'm completely responsible for. Uh, they're going to take care of redesigning the inside and fixtures and that sort of thing. They're also going to supply signage on the outside of my building. But the signs that were on my building were over 25 years old, so it was time to get rid of them. As you can see behind me, the facade has been stripped of the words yesteryear cyclery, which were put up in the 70s, actually. They wanted $1,900 to do it, and I did it on a ladder in about an hour or so. But now it's time to paint. And rather higher than somebody to paint, I've looked into uh, renting a scissors jack to go up there. It was like $1,000, so instead, I'm using my own uh, staging that I have, and I'm gonna have my own guys paint it. Now, my father always told me, don't buy cheap paint. You work too hard to get this job done and to do it right, so buy good paint. I didn't go to Home Depot, I didn't go to Lowe's, I didn't go to Pittsburgh Paint. I went to George Kirby & Sons, which have been in business since 1846 in this city, hand mixing paints for years for the entire marine industry. They make boat paint, they make stuff that you see on deadliest catch that does not break down. So I went to them, they gave me a deal because they know I'm gonna be using about 20 gallons of paint. And this is the stuff It's actually an alkaline oil-based boat paint that we're gonna do the side of the building with, the outside. This board is, that's out here is very porous, so we're gonna take about 12 coats of primer and then one coat of finish coat. So, take a look at the building and you'll see what we're talking about. So there's the bond board now. You see the outline of where it used to say yesteryear. We're gonna paint this entire thing, top and bottom. And we're gonna start doing it today. Here's my own little staging. We're gonna start on this side. And from a safety standpoint, the staging has wheels. And we're just afraid that if we get up there, the thing may take off. So I parked my tractor right in the way. Consequently, no one will get hurt. So Adam's gonna take the first uh, shift. We're gonna get up and try this side, see what it looks like and uh, we'll give you progress reports as we go, but this is the start of the giant build out here at Yesteryear Cyclery. Okay, well we're into week two of the renovations here at Yesteryear as we prepare for the giant build out which is coming in April of next, next uh, year in the spring. Uh, so sh sh I'll show you some of the progress we made this week, or last week I should say. We took out all the slat wall that was on this area. This is by the bathrooms. And we're covering up holes. We've got all new sheetrock. Mr. Mike, Magic Mike has done all this work himself. Laid the sheetrock, taped it all, sanding it, cleaning it. We're gonna paint this all black. This entire area is gonna become a theater. You see, I got our big screen there and our projector up top. We're gonna be showing movies in here, maybe put some seats in. All of this wrap counter area is gonna be gone. All of this will be gone. Oh, look, our newlyweds. Married Saturday last week. Kyle and Ricky, so cute. Anyway, where our helmets are now, we are going to have our wrap counter. And we've got something very special planned there, which I don't want to talk about just yet. So, continuing on, let's go outside and take a look at the front of the, the building and how much it's changed. My boy spent the whole week on staging, and where this used to be great uh, brown bond board that said yesteryear on it, you look now, it's all beautiful gray. This has all been done with Kirby Brothers hand-mixed oil base primer, 55 bucks a gallon, fancy, fancy, schmancy. This all used to look like really beat up. Now it's all gray. And this is in anticipation of a set of signs that are going up here, one that says giant right there. And down the other side here is gonna be a big set of channel letters that say yesteryear cyclery, all lit up in red in neon green it's gonna be bad bad in a good way there's the other side all done up so this week's job we're gonna paint this with the final top coat they're gonna be coming up to redo this big sign over here that's getting all redone and uh, we'll keep you progressed as we progress so until next week here we go okay time for a little progress report here are our east wall which we've added some outlets to. This is gonna be the customer service area. We're gonna be building a counter right out here. Um, meantime on the crew today, 
We've got the lovely and talented Andy Lalby yeah, yeah, yeah. putting in another wall, and we'll be wiring that. And Mr. Mike and Mr. Adam are tearing down electrical wires in anticipation of us building a new wall up here. So, we shall continue to build up wall by wall. It's going to be a new and exciting guest year. Well, we're into our third week of uh, renovating the store. <clears throat> I got a bit of a cold, thanks to Adam. Um, but today I'll show you what we're doing. Um, it's uh, November 19th, and we're still cranking along here with just the uh, yesteryear staff doing the rebuild. Uh, working on workbenches in the back repair area. Um, and what we've done, we've taken the Formica, we painted it black, and then we started to coat it with this product called Pro Marine resin epoxy and it's hard to see here but with the first coat it's kind of a stipple finish but we're turning these grungy old work benches into a glossy black finish and we're kind of putting the word giant under each of the benches these are the new backs for the uh, other two benches that have pegboard this is the kind of grunge we're looking at this is what's been here for only God knows how many years so what I'm going to do now is we're going to belt sand these, paint them black, and you're going to see how beautiful this is going to look when we're all done. There's a rough idea of what it looks like now, um, but after it takes two or three days for this stuff to set up. So when it's all done, we'll uh, take your picture and show you. Okay, so here we are. This is week three. We're still in the total resto mode. Uh, it's not going well. The weather's been terrible. We can't paint outside. So we've been working inside. The walls are finished, as you can probably see on this side. This week, we're gonna work on getting out all these green walls here and all these cabinets. They're all gonna get moved downstairs with all the storage that's in them. We've been using this for 40 years to hold stuff. And now it's gonna be transported down to the cellar because this is gonna be one big spacious workroom here. Showroom, I should say. Um, we've got plans for the customer service area is gonna get moved over to this area here as you come in the door on your right. And because the weather isn't agreeing, it's overcast and rainy, today we're working on work benches in the back. Let me give you a rundown of what they look like. Here's one that's finished. And what we did was we painted them black, put a giant sticker on it, and we put three or four layers of marine epoxy, which is like putting glass down all of the Equipment has been painted in giant blue. Work stands, vices. Here's another bench that's fairly completed. We've got to give it another coat. And now we're in the process of digging up the last one. Got my boy Andy on the heat gun. And we're taking up Formica that is 45 years old and totally beat. So, we will continue on this week. See what happens. See if the weather agrees with us. And until next time, see ya. Okay, updates on week three. We have sanded uh, the final workbench. It has been covered with a little bit of spackling compound to fill in the holes. We're gonna paint it black and continue on. So let's see what's going on outside here. It's a dreary day, cold. Our little friend, Mr. Mike, is putting on the second coat of the Kirby paint. The oil-based gray paint right over our primer. It's coming out awesome. Heavy duty, duty, duty paint. And Adam, is busy wire brushing this old antique lamp post that we are restoring. This was our original trademark, which had a high wheeler leaning against it. And right now we're taking off the rust. We're gonna paint it green and put a brand new globe up here and put an electric light that looks like a flame. So let's keep going. We'll keep you posted as we go. Okay, so moving along on our benches, here is the third bench on its first pour. Um, I think it's gonna to have to go again. Obviously, there's a lot of stipples in it. Uh, we're painting in here today in the rear shop. Kyle's bench is complete. We're starting to load it with tools. This looks beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Our little giant workbenches. And uh, thanks to Mike, we now have a black refrigerator, which is kind of neat. And this old beat up cabinet that we use nuts and bolts in, we decided to sand all the rust off it Paint it giant blue and epoxy a nice sticker on top of it. So now, what was a piece of crap 
Looks like a brand new cabinet. We used to have floor tiles stuck to the side of it. It was so crappy. So, so the repair shop is the big push this week. So that we can get back to work in retail here. Um, little by little though, the whole thing's gone from neon green to junk. All right, progress report. This is week four. Today is December the 5th. I got the whole crew in here today ripping out a wall. They're working like animals. Check this out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was great. We got no business, but here's where the cabinets used to be. We're ripping this whole wall down. Right down to the bare wall. Happy Kyle, new married man, Mr. Mike. We're gonna expose a window. There's actually a window hiding behind that wall right there, which we'll show you a little later on in the film, but we progress on. The build out continues. All right, so here's a little progress report. We're undoing 40 years of jumping over the floor with a lump in it. And I, my little buddy Andy figured out that if we cut up the lump out and take off a thing that's underneath called a ferron, we would actually alleviate this lump before we put a new floor in. When they built this building, they put the two by, uh, two by eights, which is the joist, and this little piece of ferron, and that caused the whole floor to belly up. So we cut it out, we're taking that piece out, we're gonna screw it back down, and God willing, these lumps that we've had all these years, four of them that run across the I-beams of the building, will be gone. Sometimes Beautiful thing. And Mr. Mike, putting on new walls. They come, they're coming, almost done now. Ready for paint. This is gonna be an orange wall. You know, it's December 9th, it's a Sunday night. Uh, it's about seven o'clock. Everybody's home in a nice warm house and I'm here at the shop. It's freezing in here. It's gonna be about 35 degrees inside this building. And you know who's here busting his ass for me is my little buddy Andy. Check him out. Go, baby! One sheet! We are digging up the original four. Can you believe this? Unbelievable! Look at him go! Save that sheet! I'm building a house! That's my boy. That's my boy. Whoa! Hey, man. What's up? You wrecking shit? No. You can ask. Take me. That's all right. You're my man. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate you. Love you, brother. Sheetrock and installation day. Uh. <laughs> what do you got? I got yeah, I don't know. Andy, Andy kind of likes his little toys there. So, oh, no, I, if, you know what? Set the, the resistance all the way out. So. Hi, boys. Hey. Thanks. Get all my chin.
Plumbers crack. Nice. Mike, just keep hiding your face. Nobody will ever know it's you. That's perfect. Okay, well here we are on week five. We have completed the floor. Uh, fixing the floor, I should say. All the little stripes are cut out, as you can see. And the floor is now flat, which I'm very proud of. And we have begun construction on the dressing room. The dressing room is a seven foot square structure. It's being put in the corner where we used to sell clothes over here. And there was a window we blocked off. That's gonna be a mirror. And Andy has framed in the door, which is over here. And just a little while ago, we went to um, the Haven Lumber and we got a sheetrock, piece of plywood we need. And we're gonna finish this up today and get ourselves a ladies and men's dressing room for the new giant build out clothing line. Should be awesome. So today is December 30th um, and this will be the last video I take for a little while because this evening I'm leaving for my winter getaway in Daytona and uh, when I come back hopefully my staff and boys will have completed the project and we'll be ready for giant team to come in and do the build out as they call it or redo the entire inside of our store. So at this point of the game, the floor is ready to be installed, which is going to be coming in from the West Coast. It's a gray uh, interlocking vinyl plank. Uh, the walls for the dressing room have been roughed up. Uh, we're finishing the sheet rocking. And when it's all done, this whole wall is going to be blue through here. This wall will be white. This wall over here will be orange. Uh, and we're going to take all the bikes that are up in the ceiling, the, if you will, the sky, uh, what do I call this thing, museum, and we're going to put them all along the border of the store in the gutters. And we'll have a kind of a legacy wall of bicycles starting with the old 50s bikes and all the way up to the most current road bikes. So when we come back in March, we should have a brand new store to show you. So hang in there.
Okay, well here's our next phase in my movie. <clears throat> um, I'm back in New Bedford. I flew in uh, yesterday. Today's March the 8th, I think. Or 9th, something like that, I don't know. I uh, missed a flight, so that was a whole nother story. It took me uh, way, way too long to get home to Providence. Andy picked me up, and we're about to head over to the shop and take a look at the progress that the boys have done. So hang in there, here we go. Okay, so here we are. It's time for the big reveal. After three months away from the shop, Let's see what the boys have done. Oh my god. It's just not the same. It's nice and warm in here, by the way. Who's paying for that heat? Look at this store! Woo! The boys have outdone themselves. Now today we're waiting for the folks from Giant to come in, three or four guys, and they're gonna do the big restaurant renovation and bring us a brand new Giant Cyclery. So until further notice, we'll be back. Okay, so this, the fun has begun. It's about 9.30. We just had a gigantic truck arrive at the store with about 20 pallets worth of stuff. The boys are unloading now. And this store is a bumblebee nest of activity. Look around here. Got all the stuff coming in. Got all my boys on deck. Kyle, Adam, Mike, Andy, Lenny. And we got the boys from Giant. Got Mike. Grayson and Griffin. They are busy putting together all the fixtures and the in internal <laughs> the internal stuff. This store is gonna be unbelievable when we're done with it. How much is left in there? Really, we're gonna go take a video of it. Wow, that's a big box. Wow, that's a big boy. Look at this. Damn. That's a lot of stuff. I think they're right about getting a dumpster. Look at that. That's yeah, all Oz? Yeah, Holy crap. We see a five, we weigh six. Yeah. I got that, I think we have yeah. My God, we're gonna be busy. All right, let's do it. Well, we're halfway through day one and we made a mess of the place. Check it out. That's cardboard from half the stuff they've unpacked. We're starting to build all the racks and the display stands. This is going to be a clothing wall. Bike displays. Oh, I think this is, I think this is for helmets. More wall standoffs. Holy crap. If we could sell cardboard, we'd be rich. So these guys are doing all this. My project putting back all the lights that my lovely employees decided to take down while I was away. So this is a wiring nightmare, but if we want this place to look like a nightclub, we gotta go ahead and wire it all. So it's gonna be cool when we're all done. So we'll keep you posted as we go. So we're here on day two of the giant build out. The boys are working like little divas all over the place. Look at the pile of garbage we made yesterday. Taking apart all the, uh, all the equipment. Andy is busy working on the customer wrap area and my boys and the giant boys today are building the racks to hold the bicycles the place is a veritable mess and my job is working on all the speakers and the lighting so we got a big day ahead of us got the whole crew in here now yesterday they were also put racks on the walls where they're gonna put display trays And there are the boys having their morning conference as to what's going on. So we'll keep you posted as we go, but this is day two of the big build. I've uh, been here for about 10 days. Flew in uh, last Sunday. Today is Tuesday. Uh, helped the boys get everything finalized. The display's up. The giant guys have gone home. As you can see, most of the showroom is stocked. All the equipment is in place. We've got our men's department with shoes, clothing, Actually a men's bicycle. We've got our dressing room complete. 
We've got the live ladies section with the ladies bike, ladies clothing, of course ladies shoes, which is very popular this time of the year. We sell a lot of spin, spin shoes. Uh, little try on area. All the racks are in, which look awesome. We've got a high performance mountain bike area. Uh, basket bags, kids bikes, kids bikes here. All the e-bikes sit in the middle of the front window. Got these high tech plastic risers that say Giant and Live on them. Uh, we've decided to put the BMX on this row and all the recreational sport and leisure bikes on the other row. And then as you go across the front window, we've got another riser with the Live Ladies high-end road bikes. They also are on all brand new Rudy racks supplied by Giant in this build out. And the final phase of our project is finishing Command Central here, which is our very fancy cash wrap area that Andy designed. And he's in the process of finishing the Formica on the tops. As you can see, it looks awesome. It's a semicircle. You can only enter it from one way. We're gonna have a lit sign in the back with the Giant Yesteryear logos on it. I'm in the process of putting in the computers, which I've got register one in already and wired. Um, and we'll be able to run three, four people in the back here and two sets of customers at the same time, which will be pretty awesome. And there's the theater. And pretty much, we're almost complete. We're approaching the April 1st uh, soft opening, which is Monday, in two weeks. And at that time, we will open to the public full time. Monday through Saturday, nine to five. And we've scheduled a grand opening for the 16th of May, which is a Saturday where all the local dignitaries, the mayor's gonna cut a ribbon for the grand reopening of yesteryear at Giant. And uh, all the big shots from Giant themselves will be down. And it's gonna be a great party. So this pretty much uh, concludes the end of our Giant build out, except for maybe some party videos. And I'm very glad you stayed with us and joined us for this whole party. Thank you.